This is not a training movie, but a movie just to highlight the complexity of doing machine control by creating surface models from AutoCAD drawings. As you can see right here, this is the original drawing. If I type in XREF, hit enter, you can see there's only two layouts or XREFs, the survey, which is the original survey that was done in state plane, and then the engineers developed the 2D plan for the design over top of that, and then they added proposed contours, as you can see in green. So for the surveyor and for the construction company, they have to take these XREFs, combine them in such a way as to be able to create surface models. Most jobs now are done in phases. Phase one, is right here and you can see that um, I took the proposed contours and developed them for the road coming in here and for this area right here but for this area you can see that two sediment ENS uh, temporary ponds were designed for phase one or part of phase one so I had to, I didn't have the drawings in time, so I had to essentially, using just the PDF files, digitize where the ponds were, where the proposed contours were not going to be built, and then tie them in. And that was phase one. So once that was created using these three PDF files, I then uh, generated tin files. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of those tin files. Again, this is not a training movie. It's just a to highlight the steps and complexity to create surface models or tin files for machine control. I go to Surface 3D Viewer. And right now, I'm going to come up here and pick this one here. And here's phase one. So if I turn off the solid faces, you can see that um, oops, window up, and if I turn that back on again, you can see there's the two ponds. Let's color by elevation. Let's uh, exaggerate by three to one, and you can see that proposed contours went up the road here. The proposed contours over here, but this was um, essentially created with two sediment E and S ponds um, for this construction phase one. So that was step number one. The second step is the building area that needed to be as built before um, they could dig the pads for the middle school um, from the core holes or bore holes. Uh, had to be built in this fashion right there. And you can see that it's an undulating surface, but it had to be um, graded um, to this structure. And I think that there was rock, and they had to then blast from here. So they uh, had to create this surface, and it had to be surveyed and as-built prior to going to the next phase, um, which if I hit return, repeats the last command, and... And you can see that uh, they, um, let's go to a three to one again. They had to build this interior structure right there before they went to the next phase. Then they had to after they blasted, they had to build the pads inside the where the school was going to be built to these elevations right there. So with that surface created, you then would combine them. And you can see there they are. And you can see that the uh, there's the sediment trap ponds still built. They've uh, created the pads. The road's already built. This area, the basketball court, all been built, and they would build those pads. And that was essentially phase one.
Then the sediment ponds were removed and the proposed grade for the front of the building had to be created. And that in turn would be combined with the proposed grade in this fashion right there so that uh, you would have essentially phase one, this area completed with that surface model. And, and then you can see that uh, Let's uh, exa uh, vertically exaggerate it to 3 to 1 right there. And you can see that the proposed grade is finished for the front of the building now. Here's the road right here, the basketball court, the building pads. And this is essentially the end of phase 1, where everything is combined. And then they're ready to go to phase 2, which is up in this area right here. And if I hit return... You can see that we uh, have built phase two. And I'll turn off this right there. You can see the complexity of the phases right there. And then this area would then be combined with phase one. There is phase one and phase two combined. Go to a three to one. And you can just see the amount of painstaking meticulous work that's required to make sure that all the tin is accurate to, you know, hopefully an eighth of an inch, uh, so that the uh, grading can be done with a dozer or motor grader for the road, and done in such a way that it only has to be done once, and you have what can be said is extremely productive in the field using GPS or to robotic total stations with machine control.